everybody. I'm back. I got a lot of mail uh, over the weekend and Monday, and it wasn't just for my challenges. It was from the stuff that I got on eBay. So I'm going to share it with you because um, I want to start doing those risen pours that everybody's doing, and I've watched a few people do them, and I'm really interested in to do it. But I didn't have any molds, and of course the best ones are, you know, over in China. So anyways, I want to share with you the few that I got here. First of all, this here, this is a dress. I don't know if you can see. I might have to take it out. I saw um, Mars from Michigan do this dress, and it came out so cute. She colored it. <clears throat> it's got quite a bit of depth there, and it's so pretty when it comes out with all the uh, detail that's on it. So I can't wait. When I actually do the ribbon, I'll be able to show you. And this one here, this was an angel, and I can't wait to do this one. God, it really sticks to these plastic bags. It's probably hard for you to tell, but... There is an angel in there, and she's like looking down on a flower. So I'm hoping that uh, I can do a good job on these. Because I want to do like some of the coloring too. This one here, you should be able to see this one without taking it out. These are little roses. And then this one here. These are butterflies, and this one isn't really deep, so this probably won't take much time to to dry. But these are all butterflies. I just can't get over how <laughs> you know you can get all these great ones overseas. I wish you could get them here. This one here, I think this is an egg. Egg with a design on it. You can't really see the design real well, but like I said, when I do them, you'll be able to see it. But this is an egg. There. <clears throat> and these are bigger, uh, these are roses. I got two of them so I could get two at a time. Let's see which one you can see better. You can see the rose. And maybe that. It's hard with that plastic glare, you can't see everything. Let's see how pretty that is. It's going to be. It's hard with the moles to see the after result, but I will show it to you. Let's see. I just wanted to get a few so I could pour a lot. This here, this is funny. I have the um, I have these buttons. I get them at Walmart, and I know a lot of people <clears throat> like these little fairy buttons. Now the molds is going to be a little different because at first I'll probably just use <clears throat> either clear or just one color. But it's amazing. They are exactly like the ones you get at Walmart. But of course, I don't have all the different colors that you can put in it. I'll kind of experiment with that. But for now, I'll probably just do them one color or paint them afterwards. But these are exactly just like the ones that I have. So that was interesting. I was waiting to show everybody because I wanted to get quite a few. Now, you can really see a lot of detail on these butterflies. Look at that. So I am so excited to do this. This was a bigger one. I didn't realize it was so thick. So let's see if they come out. But this is, it's silicone. But you know, these are butterflies. You can tell here on the back, it's a little thicker. So they might be, I don't know, they might be too thick. I'm not sure. We'll have to try it out. And see, because you don't like to make them too thick because you want to put them on things. So I will see. I didn't realize they were that big. It's so hard. Oh, well, you know when you're online, you can't always see the sizes. Even if they say it, you know, look, you know, smaller than it is. But let's see, that was the silicones. And then I got one of, I never had this before, and I just thought this was gorgeous. Look at this trim. If you can see it up close but it's so pretty it, 
you probably can't see the detail. It's pink and uh, dark pink and it's got bling. It's got the bling. I don't know if you can see the bling. How much the camera can pick up here. But yeah, I got a yard of this. Because I just thought it was so lovely. And I figured if I liked it, I can always order some more. Because we're always trying to come up with new trim. And the other day I, I was at Joanne's and they were having a sale. And I thought, well, maybe their trim won't be so bad. Even with a sale. Oh my God, I couldn't get over the price. Yep, can't do that. And then this here I got. <coughs> Brandy from Creatively Brandy. Um, she had... She did these at Christmas time. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat is a little full from the drip. Actually, Brandy is from Canvas Craze Creations Brandy. Okay. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but I got it. And she did these adorable cups. And I asked her where she got them, and she told me. And it is so cute. The cutout is really cute. I think it's a duck. There's a couple different cups there. And it was really adorable. So... I will have to do these die cuts and let you know how they come out. So, I just wanted to share that with you. And then, like I said, hope. Sorry, guys. I guess I turned it off. I didn't realize when I was taking the, fo the foams off here. The silicone uh, forms. Anyways, um, I hope to be doing these maybe in the next few days. Because I'm really kind of anxious to do it. And I'll see how it turns out, and then maybe I'll, I'll show you. I know a lot of people have been having tutorials, so it's nothing new, but it's new for me. So I will probably share it with you. So anyways, I wanted to share uh, that, and I'll be back on with challenges, uh, entries that I got. Okay, everybody, take it easy.